Hey everyone, this is Coach Matt Ellis from Primal Athlete Training Center here in Cranston, Rhode Island. Um, you know, a lot of people, and right, rightfully so, a lot of people think when they see Primal Athlete Training Center that we're just a, a small kind of hardcore training studio for Rhode Island's top strength athletes, football players, track and field throwers, wrestlers. And while that's correct, and while that is a big part of what we do, Another thing that we do here is private throws coaching and personal throws coaching uh, for some of the top athletes here in the state. Uh, right now we have a few of the top shot putters and a few of the top weight throwers in the state working here with us, getting some extra help on the weekends, getting some extra technique and training, um, you know, both with their throws, with their technique, and also here in the weight room, making sure that they're training properly to peak at the right times during the year. So keeping that in mind, we're doing something really special uh, in a company with the Rhode Island Interscholastic League and the Rhode Island Track and Field Foundation this year. And that is two free shot put clinics that are going to be happening at the new indoor track up at Central High School. These shot put clinics are going to be happening February 6th and February 13th. And they're going to go from 1 o'clock to 2.30 in the afternoon both days. Okay, you're going to be coached by me. You're going to have the opportunity to practice indoors, which is huge this time of year with all the snow on the ground. You're going to have the opportunity to use the circles that you're going to be using during your championship meets, freshman, state championship, junior varsity, and varsity state championship. Not only that, but you're going to have the chance to get an extra day of practice uh, on a Sunday, okay, sort of as a tune-up to get you ready for those big meets at the end of the season. Now, leading up to that, Okay, what we're going to ask you guys to do is to sub subscribe uh, right up top here. Subscribe uh, takes a couple seconds so that every couple days you're going to be getting a new video in your inbox from me outlining a common fault that I see with a lot of throwers here in the state. Could be about the weight throw, could be about shot put, discus, hammer, could be about, uh, you know, kind of transfer from each one of those and you can use it in each one of your throwing events. But common faults and the proper corrections to make um, in your throwing events. We're going to have it every couple days. You'll be getting a new video like this. We hope to have you guys sign up. We hope to have you guys come checking back in. And we especially hope to see you February 6th and February 13th at the new indoor track next to Central High School. Totally free clinic. Opportunity to get in and get some great throws and some great uh, te technique work with one of the better coaches here in the state. Today what we're going to be talking about is a real common occurrence and a common problem that I see with shot put and discus throwers and that is where the back foot, the foot that's up against the toe board or the foot that's up right near the, this, the, the front of the circle, how that foot is positioned and where that foot is positioned and how if you just make one little adjustment you will be able to get much more torque and much more push on the ball to get your throws out there and increase your PR by a few inches. One simple little technique work that not a lot of people know about. So it's a little inside secret coming from me right to you guys. Make sure to subscribe, hit that little button up top. Okay, subscribe to this channel and uh, you'll be getting a new tip and a new trick like this that you can practice every day in your inbox. We hope to see you guys at that clinic. I'm going to adjust the camera real quick shoot it down at my feet and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Alright guys, now we're going to explain a little bit what I mean about the position of the back foot, the position of the back leg when you get into your power position for the shot put and for the discus. Let me show you what I mean. Most coaches and most athletes have a pretty good understanding of what it means to get in a power position. You've got your power leg, so for me as a right-handed thrower, it's going to be my right leg. Right leg is going to be bent, and my weight is going to be back over that right leg. Okay? A great way to check this out, another extra little tip for you guys, is go to your track coach and get a stopwatch. Okay? Put the stopwatch around your neck. Now, when you stand there, you can see that your center of gravity is right in the middle of your body, right down your spine, right down your chest, the middle of your stomach. Okay? That's your center of gravity. When you get to power position, you start to see that your center of gravity shifts over the power leg, over this back leg. 
And that's important because to get a real big throw, you need to shift your weight from behind your power leg all the way over the front of the toe board, all the way over the front of the circle. Okay? Now, in order to get your weight as far back as possible, this is where that little tip comes in about the back foot. Check this out. Get down in a power position. Most people, both of their feet, okay, both feet are going to be facing uh, out around 3 o'clock. Right now, both feet are going to be facing the camera. As you turn and your weight starts to come over your back leg, unless you're Gumby, unless you're the most flexible person on earth, you're never going to be able to get all the way back. Okay? You can get your weight over the foot perfectly fine, but as you can see, my shoulders are still open, I'm still facing, my head and my nose are facing that 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock position, and they're not all the way back. All you have to do is turn this back foot and get up on your toe. Let me show you what I mean. Watch what happens to my shoulders, watch what happens to the center of gravity, and watch what happens to that shot put as I turn the back foot. Power position, Okay, weight is as far over that leg as it can go. What we're going to do is we're going to turn the foot, and as we turn the foot, our shoulders turn all the way to the back of the circle, the head is all the way to the back of the circle, and the hips are closed all the way. Okay? Now what that means is we've added about an extra foot and a half onto the amount of time we're pushing that ball. So let me show you. Regular position, okay? Power position with both feet flat on the ground facing you guys. We're going to start from here and we're going to push. By getting up on that back foot, power position, now we're up on the back foot, okay? Now instead of pushing from here and going, now we're going to go all the way from back here. So as we turn the feet, now we have all this weight behind us, pushing, 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 boom, big throw, weight is going all the way from the back, all the way over the toe board. So we're seeing a huge shift in weight, okay? We're seeing all your center of gravity go from all the way back here, all the way out the front of that circle. That's going to add inches onto your throw instantly. Okay? Now, you can really exaggerate, you can really see this with the discus. Let me show you what I mean. Discus and shot have the same power position. Okay? It's a little bit bigger of a circle, your feet are a little bit wider, but everything else is exactly the same. Okay? In discus, if both of our feet were flat on the ground, and we were in that power position, because I'm not Gumby, none of us are the most flexible human being in the world, when that discus is back, the discus can only really face about that 2 o'clock position, which means when we throw, we throw starting here. By getting up on that back foot, now look what happens to the discus. Now the discus is all the way back around 4 o'clock. Okay? Now our hips are squared all the way back, and now, I'm sorry, shoulders are squared all the way back, and the hips are totally closed. Now, instead of throwing from here, now we throw from all the way back here. All that extra distance, all that extra torque, and all that extra speed onto that discus as we let it go. Okay? That one little tip is something that you guys can do at practice tomorrow to add inches onto your throw at your next track meet. Okay? If you guys have any questions down below, please drop a comment into our comment box. If you guys have a really good question, if it's something that really pertains to the shot put and to a real common problem that athletes around the state are having, we're going to answer that for our next video. So make sure to drop a comment down below. We'll get to them on our next video. And this is exactly what you guys can expect to see February 6th and February 13th at the new indoor track up at Central High School. Clinic is 100% totally free and open to all Rhode Island Interscholastic League athletes 
and their coaches. We hope to see you guys there.